So I'll need to increase the just increase the intensity some more. Like so. Obviously, we need to take down the scale for this. So let's take down the let's tighten this some more. So somewhere around here seems seems fine. This is just going to <clears throat> it's just going to be a base pass for the for the skin. Okay. Yeah, I believe this should work just fine. I'll click OK. <clears throat> so right off the bat, you see this being applied to the skin. <clears throat> Might be doing this. One. Okay, let's max. Well, right, the part I've maxed out is not one. It's not supposed to be applying to the part I maxed out. <clears throat> not supposed to be applying to the part I maxed out. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> the other, there are still other ways of fixing this. Because now, if I try to mark this part out, <clears throat> skin pores is still affecting it. But I need to go a bit light handed on the skin pores for the nose. The nose vision is so go a bit light handed in here. Okay, let's see what happens when we apply when we apply this. If it will respect the noise we apply applied to this or not. Let me mark this out. The edges of the let me blow rather, let me blow out the marks a bit more, just one step. Then I will take this down. <clears throat> Click on apply to mesh. Okay, before I do apply to mesh. Uh, I like to increase the intensity a bit more. The stronger intensity to it, something like this. Then apply to mesh. Can you see this respected the marks we did? Well, not so much. Did not respect. Did not respect the marks we applied in here. Not supposed to even apply to wherever we have the marks in in there. Suppose not so. Okay. Though at, at least at the very least, you know we have good skin pore detail around this. Oh, we need, we need better control over this. Definitely need better control over this. So I will undo this. Better still, I will use max by noise. Max by noise. Okay. So now using the max by noise. You will notice that now this max by noise is respecting areas which we have already maxed out. For example, the top of the eyelid and also on the lips. You can see we're not getting those skin pores maxing on the on those regions of the part we maxed out earlier on, which is precisely what we want. I also need to 
kind of blow out, do some marks on top of this also just to lighten the skin, the skin pores effect on the ears. I don't want it to be too aggressive on the ear. So I'm going a bit light handed in here. Then somewhat light handed. <laughs> Go to the back also. Go a bit light handed. I'm going to be using the inflate instead to kind of get this skin pores inflated out of the skin. So I'm trying to max out regions where I don't want it to be too aggressive on. So at least will give me get greater control over this. Okay. Yeah, this should be this should be fine. This should be fine. So now all I have to do now is to go to, to go to my inflate tab. Or rather the deformation tab rather. Go to the deformation tab. Then we can do. Let me type in values in here instead. So let's try a value of three. Oh, we're supposed to do this in negative. We're supposed to go do this in a negative value. Minus three. Okay. Let's remove the marks. Let's see what we have. Undo that. Undo that again. I think for the inner part of the eye, I want to. Rather, I would need to max out this part completely. <clears throat> I don't want that part to be, to be affected. Okay. So let's go again in negative value in here. Minus 3. Okay. So go out of the max. Yes, feels a bit strong, but that's completely fine. Think we can just want to check, just checking this out, just to figure out the other part. I need to erase a bit more. Let me undo this. Max out this part some more. Okay. So just a back and forth scene until it looks good enough to use. I think I need to max out this part some more. Okay, I think it should be fine. So next thing we're going to do is just to be just to under the layers we can just take this down so it's not as intense as it was before. So now we have get <clears throat> so now we have greater control over this.
maybe even down a bit more maybe zero points five oh was that zero point five before just zero point three now zero point three is way too down zero point three You just need this as a base, just as a good base on top of this, which so far seems to be working accurately as we would want it to. Yeah, I think this is a, I think this is a good spot. I believe this is a good one. Okay. Now, alternatively, let me show you guys another trick also to this. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, here is another way to kind of add another layer of skin for the base skin for it on top of this again. So, if I should, I believe, can I? Um, <clears throat> okay, let me create a new layer. No, oh, mm. okay. Before I create a new layer, let me delete. Let me delete that new layer, new, new layer for now. Let me duplicate this layer instead. So duplicate layer. Then the new layer I just created. Let me rename this to invert in fact let me see if that's what you do what i wanted to do if not then we just have to create a new layer and then recreate that so for this i'll just use a negative value instead I'll go towards a negative value yes yeah, you can see something like this so going towards a negative value kind of creates like like the pulling out of those skin for detail it's more or less like a pulling out of the skin for detail. But the only problem is that it's applying right on top of the one we already had we already had before. It's applying right on top of that. So we need to kind of change, we need to kind of change the that means we need to even create a new layer entirely because we can't tile this again. There's no tiling to this anymore. We can't really tile do it do tiling for this anymore. So Though, as much as this would look cool, or maybe alternatively, alternatively, <clears throat> the alternatively, I could actually, I could actually smooth some of these parts out. I could actually smooth, smooth some of them out, but I don't kind of damage the structure of my scopes on top of this. I don't want to damage that, so I'm just going to create a new layer, <clears throat> new layer instead. But in case you want to kind of use something similar to this, you always can. But I want to do this in a more efficient way. I'll do this in a more efficient way, which would be to let me delete this, which would be to create a new layer. Let me hide this for now. Create a new layer, then go back to surface noise. Click on edit and I edit. Uh, I will just change the scale just a bit. Maybe this is on 0 .0, 0 0.016. Maybe change the tiling to something lower. Maybe this 1.3 instead. Okay. Probably change it to something higher instead. Well, let me use we even use the value of two.
basically i'm trying to kind of displace where those center points are so we have this, like additional detail of where we have this dotted screen pod detail in there so the previous one was 0 0.016 so this is now this, this is on 0 0.2 this on 0 0.2 okay i'll click ok in here Then what I'm going to do would be to max by noise. The max by noise in here. Okay, then I'm going to I'm going to max out certain region. So this is like more or less, more or less printing our max again. So let's go heavy handed on this part. Okay. Go heavy handed on this part. Basically, just trying to get some more variation to this base skin pore. Even though I'm going to be adding texture next XYZ skin pore on top of this, but I still want to have some some leverage of break up in there. Obviously, don't want any of that in here. So I'm just going to mark this out completely. Okay. Lower parts. Clean this part completely. It's not going to be visible, but let's just make sure that part is cleaned completely. So it should just be like our skin imperfection, bump skin imperfection, maybe even pimples also. With this, we can we can kind of create some extra texture of skin pore detail in there. I'll go heavy handed on the years on the years so don't have don't really get much of that on the year. Okay. Then I can freely kind of break this up go light handed on some parts kind of let me go out of symmetry even let me go out of symmetry so i can do this symmetry asymmetrically so i'm just going to kind of break this up basically breaking this up so some parts should have wider higher bump some parts should have lower bump so basically variation in the intensity of the bump in there that's basically what i'm trying to recreate in here by going by moving around this randomly great i moved that by intention unintentionally okay Okay, go around the surface also. The most of this part is not going to be visible though, but let's just make sure at the very least we have some broken up variation in there. Okay.
like I said, this is just to give it some extra layer of <clears throat> skin for detail variation in there. Might not be completely and absolutely necessary, but let's just the more breakups you have on top of this, the more interesting your let me turn on symmetry for this. The more interesting you interesting textures you have on top of it. Okay, so let's see what we have. Okay. So um we would Let's see. Okay. Uh, moment of truth. So we will go to the deformation tab. So this time around, we're going towards the negative towards the negative value for this. So as you can see how how we kind of broke this up. So now we kind of get a preview in here, which we can break up even more if we want to so let me let me undo that and let's break this even more so i'll go paint even more in there maybe when you oh okay i'm using your max i'm using your max too probably she won't use spray instead go spray spray on top of this okay no okay Let's do this inflate again. Let's see what we have. Undo that. Get some tighter spray around here. Yeah, I think this should be, this should be fine. This should be fine. So now if we if we blend this with let's turn this back on we should be having the way to kind of reduce the intensity of this I should probably even name this we need to name this bomb imperfection Okay, then I can even reduce this. I can reduce that. Now, if I zoom in now, you should see some break up all over the place, like tiny bumps. So if I should turn this off, on, you can see the break up in there. You can see some interesting break up in there. Let me increase intensity, intensity some more so you guys can actually see. Okay, let me leave it around seven. So if I should turn this off, and now you can see some other extra level of texture breakup in there for the skin pores. Just an extra, an extra layer. You can be more careful and then do this. In a more precise manner, but I think this should be fine for now. I can actually keep this as it is. Okay. Alright, this should be just fine. 
right so let me do a quick save so in the next lesson we are going to be going over using some texturing xyz maps to kind of go in there and add some more precision to the skin pulse detailing here so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next lesson bye for now